Hello, random YouTuber. This is just a quick video to show the uh, mod I'm making for old school Diablo 1. I suppose it's not really more of a mod, it's like a trainer, I guess. It's just a C sharp app running in the background. Uh, so I'll show you two of my favorite things I got working with it so far. Um, the first thing is showing mob health on rollover. So you can see the HP down there in the status 23 out of 23. Um, these guys, of course, will die in one hit. Yeah. I guess I'll show you the butcher who happens to be right here. Um, you can see it update. So as you can see, he's healing quite fast because I'm in hell. I think they heal slower in nightmare and normal, but um, oh damn, he's gonna kill my armor. Stop it. Um, did you drop anything? Oh. So it's nice to have that indication because sometimes you run into enemies who just. Um, they just, they're so resistant to your magic that you might actually be doing no damage because they're out healing it. I've seen that happen a couple times in my sorcerer. Um, but the other thing my app does so far is it can dupe things really easily. For instance, I can um, control C over an item, any item in my inventory or on the ground, and it'll dupe the item. I have the in-game messaging show up, just kind of a nice uh, addition, I guess. But. Um, you can also do it if an item's on the ground. So like, this is how we share books a lot of times. I'll mouse over it, press control C, and I got another one in my inventory. Um, the other thing I thought of though was, him and I share books a lot, but if we're split up and he finds a book and I'm not even on the screen, I can't mouse over it. So I put down the wicked ax and I'll walk away pretending that's a book he found across the level. And so I'm like, I need a way to do that. So what I did is have it um, go off of messages. Oh, shut up, Eric. Uh, but, uh, so if I were type something like copy and then the name of the, say, what was that, wicked? It just has to match a partial word. It will, um, oh, shoot, sorry, let me open my inventory. It'll copy any item it finds with that. So, like this. And then dupe successfully. Um, if you type in something that doesn't exist, though, it'll just tell you. We'll say, uh, I don't know, identify? Hopefully there's not a scroll of identify. Item not found. So, pretty easy. Um, I really like it though. It's awesome to, get, to just stay in the game and not have to alt tab, which is what my project used to do. Uh, but right now, that's all I got working, and so far it's all I need. But if I think of anything else to put in there, I'll make another update video. But for now, I'll see you later.